Latin 2, the reading for Chapter 6, Latin for the New Millennium, Level 2, Second Edition, Part 3, the third and fourth paragraph. So here's the beginning of Paragraph 3. Tandem imperator ad filium nato minimum venit. Minimum means smallest. It's a superlative, and it's going with filium. So this is the daughter smallest in birth. In other words, the youngest daughter. Okay? So... Tandem is finally. Finally, the emperor came to his youngest daughter and asked her how much she loved her father. Then the third daughter said, Diligo, I love you, te diligo, as much as quantum meredis you deserve. So it's, then the third daughter said, I love you as much as you deserve. Haec verba imperatore non valde placo erunt. These words did not please the emperor very much. Literally strongly, but we'll say very much. Notice how imperatore must be dative. Remember the word placio always takes a dative. The person who is pleased is always in the dative. You can you could translate it was pleasing too, if that makes it easier for you. So these words were not pleasing to the emperor very much, okay? By the way, this is also how Latin frequently says like. So if you wanted to, you can actually translate this. The emperor did not like these words very much, okay? And going down to the next clause, et filium tertium quidem equity dedit. Quidem is the dative of quidem quidem quadem. Remember that's qui qui quad plus dom, and this is the dative of qui qui quad, and so that forms a dative there. And it's going with equity, which is dative, so this means two or four a certain night, okay? Remember, quidem is used to introduce characters and things into a story that have not been mentioned before, and that's just what it's doing here because we have not talked about this uh, this this night before, okay? So, and he gave his third daughter to a certain knight in order that the knight would take her in matrimony. The fourth paragraph. Paolo Postea, Theodosius Imperator in Bello est Victus, okay? Postea means afterwards. We're now up to three words that mean things like after. You may remember that postquam is a subordinating conjunction, and it's used before a clause with a subject and a, and a, and a verb, right? So if I say something like, after John came home, we have to use postquam. Post, the simple word post, is a preposition. And you can say uh, post canum, that means after dinner, post canum, and has to have a noun in the accusative after it. Okay? Postea is an adverb, and it means afterwards. Paolo means a little or by a little. It's actually an ablative, and it means by a little, but we'll just say a little. So, a little later, Theodosius the emperor, est victus, was defeated. This is the perfect passive indicative. Remember the perfect. The perfect passive uses the present tense of the forms of, of, of the forms of sum. And so est victus means was defeated in bello in war, in, in, in battle. Okay, so or we'll say in war. A little later, Theodosius the Emperor, the Emperor Theodosius, was defeated in, in war, and Nekesi era, it was necessary. That's a very common expression in Latin. It was necessary, imperatory, dative, for the emperor, fugere to flee a teris suis, from his lands, right? So the whole thing is, a little later, Theodosius the emperor was defeated in war, and it was necessary for the emperor to flee from his lands. Ita quae imperator ad filium natu maximum scripsit. And so the emperor wrote to his Maximum natu daughter, uh, filium, his, his oldest daughter, ut auxilium abe petret. Here we have a purpose clause. In order that, in order that he s might seek, in order that he seek help from her, abea, from her. So, and so the emperor wrote to his oldest daughter to seek help from her. However, um, the daughter, and she's the eldest daughter, not to Maxima. However, the eldest daughter um, sent 
only five soldiers from the army of her husband to her father. Okay, so five soldiers from the army, in other words, we would say of the army, maybe no, from the army, five soldiers of the army or from the army of her husband to her father, ad patrum. And I want to point out, tantum on its own, we've seen it meaning, it, it can mean so much, and we've also seen it mean as much when it's with quantum. On its own, it's frequently the Latin word for only, and here it means only. So the daughter, however, sent only five, or I should say, one more time, the eldest daughter, however, sent only five soldiers from the army of her husband to her father. Imperator valde dolebat et nemo inquit es miserio quam ego. Credebam filiam meam prima magnum auxilium et me misurum esse. So the emperor uh, grieved very much, or we, we, we could say was in very great grief, but grieved very much and said, Nemo, no one is more wretched than I. So, no one is more wretched than I. Miserior is a comparative adjective from the adjective miser, which means wretched. It means more wretched. So, no one is more wretched than I. Notice the word than is the word, or the word quam is the word for than in Latin. Credebam filiam meam primam magnum auxilium ad me misurum esse. Literally, I believed, and remember, credebam is going to be in the imperfect because the belief is sort of a state of being that goes over the over over the over the period of the story, and so it's going to be imperfect. So, I believed my first daughter to be going to send great help to me. One more time, I believed my first daughter to be going to send great help to me. That's an indirect statement, of course, and what we would say in English is, I believed that my first daughter would send great help to me. The end.